Hello, we just finished the series of uh, videos on the integral of various powers of the secant function. And now we're going to show how to integrate the cosecant function, which incidentally is done uh, almost analogously to the secant one, the difference being that the, obviously the function is different and so its derivatives are slightly different, but the form is very much the same. As we explained in trying to find the integral of secant, we want to look at this kind of in a backwards approach. So um, the, when I say backwards, meaning we want to look at the derivatives of, um, in, in this particular case, cosecant and also cotangent. And so we, we will begin by doing that first before anything. So let me say maybe as an aside, First, find the derivatives of, we're going to look at cosecant, okay, and then we'll look at cotangent after that. And so we know that cosecant is, by definition, 1 over the sine of theta, and we want its derivative, and so we apply the quotient rule, okay? so. And let's just remind ourselves what the quotient rule is. The quotient rule said that when you have u over v and you're taking the derivative of that quotient, it's going to be u prime times v minus v prime times u over v squared. Okay? So we're going to apply that. So let me say qr. I'm going to apply the QR rule here, and it's going to be 1 prime times sine minus sine prime times 1 over sine squared. And we know right away that uh, 1 prime, it's just a constant, so that's 0. That w wipes out the first term. So we get um, that this is equal to and of course the derivative of sine theta is cos theta, so we get minus cos theta sitting up on top divided by, I'll write this as sine theta times sine theta because we have a sine squared theta on the bottom. And then you'll notice right away that um, minus the ratio of cos to sine is going to be cotangent and then, of course, 1 over sine, by definition, is um, the cosecant. Okay, So let's just summarize. That means that, therefore, the cosecant theta's derivative is equal to, I'll just write this as minus cosecant theta times cotangent theta. So this is very much similar in form to the um, secant theta's derivative, the only real difference is, so the form is the same, you just have, you pick up a minus there, okay? Um, now let's look at the cotangent one, All right, so the cotangent theta's deri derivative is going to be, um, we can say that this is by definition 1 over tangent, right? And we're trying to find its derivative. And now I'm going to apply the quotient rule on that. So it's going to be 1 prime times tan of theta minus tan theta prime times 1 over tan squared theta on the bottom. And when you do that, you once again wipe out the first term because 1 prime, it, that's the derivative of a constant, so that's 0. So this is equal to minus, now the tangent uh, derivative, we know we've done that so many times now, we, and we said that we should memorize that, so that's just minus secant squared theta over tangent squared theta. And um, I know that the secant is equal to, um, by definition, this is equal to minus 1 over cos squared theta times 1 over tangent squared theta is um, sine 
squared theta over cos squared theta by definition. And so see that the coses, the cos squareds are being canceled. And so we're left with minus 1 over sine squared theta. But 1 over sine is the cosecant, and we've got two of those on the bottom. So this comes to being um, minus uh, cosecant squared theta. And once again, like I said just a moment ago, uh, okay, so if we summarize, we're getting cotangent theta's derivative is equal to minus cosecant squared theta. And as we said a moment ago for the other case, that this has an analogous form to that of tangent's derivative. The only real difference is that we pick up this minus sign in front of the cosecant squared. Okay, so tangent's derivative is secant squared theta. Um, secant's derivative is secant theta times tangent theta. So the only real difference is the minus sign, but the forms are preserved. Okay, now with those asides, we can do what we had done for the um, secant case. So I'm going to write, in trying to evaluate this integral, I'm going to write this as the integral of cosecant theta times, as we did in the case for the secant, I'm going to write this as cosecant theta plus cotangent theta divided by cosecant theta plus cotangent theta d theta. Okay. And when I multiply this out on the top, I'm going to get cosecant squared theta plus cosecant theta times cotangent theta over cosecant theta plus cotangent theta d theta. And so you see something right away based on the aside that we did over here. You, s you see something forming right away, and this is to be expected because, like I mentioned, if you know how to do the secant one, and you know these derivatives for the cosecant and cotangent, uh, everything else is more or less analogous. So we let, now we're going to do a u substitution on the denominator, so we let u be cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. And when I take the derivative of this, notice that I get the derivative of cosecant, which is sitting right over here, and that is going to be minus cosecant theta cotangent theta. And then I have uh, co the derivative of cotangent is down here. It's minus cosecant squared. So I get minus cosecant squared theta. And then of course we have all of this has a d theta back here. All right, so, um, and lo and behold, if I multiply both sides of this by minus one, I see that, um, okay, so multiply both sides by minus one, I get a minus du is equal to the numerator. If you, uh, if you notice that, it's um, cosecant theta cotangent theta, and then plus cosecant squared theta, mm, and all of this is multiplied by d theta. All right, so, um, so all of that to say that this integral down becomes, when I come down here, it becomes minus du on the top, and we said that the denominator is u. Okay, so this is very, very simple to evaluate. This is minus the natural log of the absolute value of u, and then we pick up that constant of integration, c, and now we just sub back in what u is, and we said that u is um, cosecant theta plus cotangent theta. Okay, so let's summarize it there for the integral of cosecant theta d theta is equal to minus the natural logarithm of the absolute value of cosecant theta plus cotangent theta plus a constant of integration. Great. So now we have um, this, and, and you can see the analogies between 
the integral of cosecant that we just did with secant that we did earlier. And now I'll, um, in the next video, I'll do um, the integral of tangent, which is even easier than this. And then we'll look at an example um, on a circle with a chord, and, and we'll be using some of these results um, on, on that example. And maybe I'll do some other additional examples in future videos. So stick around and uh, keep your eyes peeled, and we'll see you in the future videos. Take care.